How the tortoise Ijakpa cracked his shell. A long time ago in the animal kingdom, there was a famine. All the animals knew they had to do something really quick or they would run out of food and die of hunger one by one. So they called a meeting where every animal attended and agreed to find a solution. At the end of this meeting, they agreed to sacrifice their parents for their survival. The animals concluded that their mothers had lived long enough and it was only fair that they die for their children to live longer. Aja was at this meeting. He had agreed, but he was so unhappy. So he went home and he told his mother about this sad news. So they both planned that they would go and hide his mother in the tallest tree in the deep of the forest. And together, they made a plan. Every day, Aja would sneak to his special tree and he would sing a magic song for his mother to drop down a rope. And his mother would drop a rope down with Aja's feast waiting for him. A few days have passed since all the animals have sacrificed their parents and the food was only enough to sustain them for that long. However, people were noticing that Aja was not getting any thinner or hungrier. He tried to hide his well-being but it was very visible. So Ijakpa took it upon himself to follow Aja and see where he was getting this well-being from. Then one day, as Aja was singing for his mother to drop down the rope, Ijakpa had followed him and had hid to observe what was going on. Mm -hmm. So this is where Aja is getting all his magic well-being from. The following day, Ijakpa went back to that same spot and sang. But nothing happened. Ijakpa wondered if he got the magic song right. And then he remembered that Aja sang the song twice. So he went and sang it twice. But nothing still happened. Then he thought, could it be his nasal tone? So he tried it a third time, disguising his voice like that of Aja's. And the rope dropped down with a basket full of food, fruits and bones that Ijakwa's mom had foraged while everybody else was sleeping at night. Ijakwa had the biggest feast of his life. He ate it all till he was content. But when he finished, he thought to himself he wanted to keep the source of abundance and well-being to himself alone. So Ijakwa climbed into the emptied basket and sang the magic song and the rope started to go back up again. At this same time, Aja was approaching and he sang in shock to his mother, drop the rope, cut the rope, that's not me. Aja's mother heard her son and so did Ijakpa. As Aja's mother was cutting the rope, Ijakpa was also pulling the rope. This struggle sent both Aja's mother and Ijakpa crashing to the ground with Ijakpa's shell broken into several pieces. This loud bang caught the attention of some of the animals nearby and they rushed in the direction of the noise to see what had happened. The animals were so shocked to see Aja's mother was still alive and they were even more furious when Ijakpa told them of Aja's betrayal. All the animals regretted sacrificing their parents because they saw how clever Aja had been with his mother. While every animal went to sleep at night, Aja's mother would climb down from her tree and forage for food, bones and wild fruits in the deep forest. And she would prepare them in the tree in wait for her son. 
So the animals were furious that Aja did not share such a better idea with the rest of them. So they concluded that they will have to judge Aja for his betrayal and send him and his mother into exile. Meanwhile, Ijakwa managed to glue his shell back together and regretted not telling the rest of the animals as soon as he found out Aja's secret. Ijakwa's greed had cost him his shell and that is how Ijakwa ended up with a rough shell that we know today. Yeah, yeah, yeah.